So this is my second vlog for the year 2021. Moving on, I went to Ayala Mall's Cloverleaf in Quezon City to cover the Elementrix North Auto Moto Show. I'm at the on rooftop parking with motorbikes and cars that already there and coming. For instance, this is the red and white combo Yamaha R6 motorcycle. It's fast, big and not gonna be your ordinary motorcycle. This is used for racing. Next is the brown Honda City that looks simple outside. Just look at the tires, it's thinner and the rims are larger. Nothing fancy about this car but I'm just warming you guys up. The owner of the blue Toyota RAV4 seems adventurous. I thought this is supposed to be an automoto show contest. But this guy is more geared up towards out of town adventure, lol. Just beside the RAV4 is this yellow green combo Honda CRV SUV. It's lowered its wheels to make it look stance. It's just nice to see those CRVs. Moving on is this purple two-door Mitsubishi Lancer. Nowadays, I rarely see them hitting the streets. But what makes this a gem is because it's a two-door car. I hope Mitsubishi revives the Lancer series. We badly needed them. Oh, another Honda City sighted project made by Classical Works. But this time, it's a stance modified. And wait, there's a clip between the bumper and fender? For what? Just comment down below to enlighten me. Oh, this is interesting. The white convertible Mazda Miata sports car. I realized that this petite sports car looks sexy as well. This Honda Civic is a sorcery. Look at the airbrush shoot from the inside as if sorcery powers with matching purple LED lights will power up the said car. By the way, this car is done by Top One Auto Salon. For those who are new to my channel, I'm Walter aka Kurumapol. I'm a car enthusiast, photographer, and a vlogger. Hit the subscribe button somewhere around this channel to stay updated what's happening in the metro and going back. These two couples are just chilling with their stance Hyundai tuner done by the Bounce Luxury. Look at those speakers. They have it installed at the back and even the doors plus the pinkish light. Epic! Time to party perhaps? Well, let's go! This red Honda Civic 2-door hatchback from the 90s open up its doors for everyone to see. From the car engine, to the seats, and even to the trunk at the back. Oh, is that a sunroof that's also open? I like the gold rings from the race engineering. It's already quarter to 6 p.m. and it's time to kick off the party! This Ford E150 has a lot of Category 7 speakers. They're big with over 2,000 speakers to blow off the roof. This Toyota Wego lights up its pink light to light up the night and it also flaunts its sounds. This compact car is something else. I don't often see a lot of Suzuki CS being made to customize, except for this car and it has installed a dozen speakers at the back, care of category 7 and 1XL. If you're a fan of PC gaming, then you probably say that these RGB LED lights are sick, plus the sounds are powered by peak audio. I like how the sounds and the lights jibes together. Whoa! Look at this white Honda Jazz. It has more than a dozen speakers at the back to blast this house. I love how this retired playboy played the green and purple LED lights well. This white Hyundai Eon doesn't want to show much of its package at the back. Anyway, I do like the spoiler place on the back door because there's no other way to put it. Elsewhere, this is the earlier yellow Honda CRV, but this time the owner blasts its sounds powered by Edge. And he also lit the blinking lights underneath. Damn! I think this night is going to be a blast. Finally, we long to see these kind of car shows in the North area to gain momentum ever since the pandemic lockdown after lockdown started last year. I guess good luck to the participants. For more car photos, just check out my Facebook page and click the link on the comment section. It's a wrap! Signing off from the Ayala Mall, Cloverleaf, Quezon City. This is Walter saying thanks for watching, God bless and you na muna!